Hello, Dallas Cowboys fans. Today, we bring you an exclusive story that could have a big impact on our team. Stay with us until the end to get all the details and share your thoughts. As the end of the 2024 NFL preseason approaches, teams are making important decisions about their rosters. By August 27th, all teams must trim their rosters down to 53 players, but that doesn't mean there's no room for new additions. One name that has been circulating is wide receiver Hunter Renfro, who remains without a team after being released by the Las Vegas Raiders in the spring. Renfro, a slot position specialist, has had a couple of tough seasons due to injuries. However, in 2021, he showed his potential by being selected to the Pro Bowl with 103 receptions, 1,038 yards, and 9 touchdowns. Although his performance has declined, he still has a lot to offer, and several teams are interested in him. Two teams that might be considering Renfro are the New Orleans Saints and the Minnesota Vikings. The Saints, who nearly won the NFC South last season, could be interested in reuniting Renfro with his former teammate, quarterback Derek Carr. With a need for more depth at the receiver position, Renfro could be the missing piece. On the other hand, the Vikings, who just added cornerback Stefan Gilmore, might also be evaluating Renfro, especially since their second-year receiver, Jordan Addison, is dealing with a sprained ankle. Although Addison's injury doesn't seem serious, Minnesota might look to secure their offense heading into the regular season. But what does this mean for the Dallas Cowboys? We know that our team is always looking to improve, and adding veteran talent could be a strategic option. With Renfro available on the market, should the Cowboys consider an addition that could bring experience and stability to the receiver position? After all, his ability to play in the slot could perfectly complement our current offensive weapons. Fans, we'd love to know what you think. Do you believe Renfro would be a good addition for the Cowboys? Or would you prefer to see our team focus on developing the young talents we already have? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and give this video a like if you enjoyed this analysis. We'll see you in the next Dallas Cowboys update.